Hi everyone, I'm Nang here again from Double Effect Training House. Today, the topic I'd like to share with you guys is how to work in uh, Adopt Premiere Pro CS6. And the subject that I'm going to focus today is Introduction of the Workspace in Adopt Premiere Pro CS6. So, this is my Premiere Pro. I just um, turn on. You can see there's a previous project that I did and there's some button here for you to start off. So if you have some project you get you 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 did before, you can open the project. But I want you to click on this a new project. Okay from here you can see there's some setting that you need to set up first before you carry on. So the general Video display, okay. We are going for use the time code. That means we control everything in times, okay. And then the audio samples and a DB format. If you're going to capture some footage from your camcorder, okay, so you can capture either in DB or HDB. But this day, a lot of people are using uh, DSLR camera, and all those footage will be saved in your SD card and I don't think you will need this uh, today and okay another one is location because this Premiere Pro will be an auto save program so it need to ask you to choose a location and save the project first so you're going to browse it and choose the location that you prefer to save your file so let's say I just save it in desktop okay now Okay, I'll just select the folder and give it a name here. Okay, just say work space. Oops. Okay, done. And this is the the setting that you need to choose for your video editing for this project. So it depends on which um, devices you use. Okay, if you're saying that you want to create a very high, uh, a very high those uh, resolution uh, video, you can use HDB. A lot of setting here. Um, so you click on this, you can see the size here. You know, width. And there's a there's a width, this is a height, and then the frames they're going to use per second. Okay, so it really depends on which uh, purpose that you use. Okay, you go higher and can see this uh, 1440 width and height here and then the frame per second here. Yeah. So I just picked this uh, a quite common uh, size for HDB and this is a sequence name that means you can consider a chapter and so that means in one project not only have one chapter it can be a lot of chapters so you can rename it and then save in the name that you will familiar with okay I'll just maybe call it chap zero one okay so maybe a lot of things you can uh, go through but in the basic this one you do and you wait for a while and then the project will come out in just a second okay so this is the workspace that we have today in Premiere Pro. So in this corner here, of course, as usual, you can change the workspace prefer, uh, which one that you want. Okay, this is the editing uh, setting for the workspace. This is the effect setting for the workspace. That means that if you choose effects, uh, those effects panel will come out and help you to do uh, effects for your video. So maybe you say I'll do an audio editing, a lot of audio editing to do today. So you can choose audio and those are for the audio setting for you. Okay, but as a normal we're going for editing because normally Premiere Pro is for the editing movie programs. Okay, so this will be your source, it means a source monitor. And we'll just preview your video before you really pick up the the part you want and then put it in the main monitor here. And then there's a timeline, the timeline panel, and then there's your library. 
that means uh, everything you inject uh, you import to be in here okay and one more thing before you are using a small monitor here so sometimes we need to enlarge it and view in the details so there's a shortcut key for you you want to cover for the last chapter here is you just mouse over to any panel windows that you want to enlarge you just mouse over and then you click on the button view day okay the button just beside one okay the view day and then you just come here and view day yes this is how your full screen the current mouse over panel okay and thanks for watching today